and we're live with the amazing Dr. Dina. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me, Dina. Hi. Hey. Dina hey. has been in on her course launch journey for just over a year now, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And Dina and I have been working together, and I wanted to chat to her today about her journey, her motivation her success and her experience. Uh, thank you so much for bright and early on Monday morning coming to ch coming to chat about your course launch. But I want to kick off with talking a little bit about how your motivation for starting this business um, is perhaps different than some. You know, some people get into course launching because they are interested in time freedom and freeing up their time and making an asset and selling it. Some people get alert by the idea that eventually you can make a lot of money but you are out to make an impact and reach people. So tell us a little bit about your why and why you started and how it's going. Yeah, well, thanks so much, Tamron. It's lovely to be here and I've loved working with you. You know, I am, I mean, I worked in healthcare my whole life and in my, towards the, the later part of my career, I started being really passionate about change and changing healthcare. And that was really because there's so many things we need to do to create accessibility, to create better healthcare for ourselves and for others. And so, you know, that's what I focused my career on. And as I moved forward, I just wanted to reach more people to help them become change leaders. Because obviously as an individual, as a single person, you can only make so much impact yourself. But mm -hmm. if, if we can start to teach other people to create that impact, then I knew that that would exponentially change how much of an impact I make. And so I, I remember actually, and you know, I love yoga as well, and I, I, I'm a yoga teacher. And my yoga teacher trainer said he was not here to teach yoga. He was here to teach teachers. And the reason for that is that there was this ability to create impact that the more people that could teach yoga, the more he believed we would transform the world and create peace and well-being. Now, that's exactly where I sit in this process. It's like the more people I can support to become good change leaders, the more we will impact healthcare and the more we'll create health and well-being and, and better systems for people to go to in the health system and you know I also wanted to do that beyond the South African borders so mm -hmm. as I started going through my career and interacting across the world I realized that there are so many people that are longing to make a difference but they didn't know how mm. and they didn't have access to a, an easy way to do that and an easy way to learn how and, you know, that's what inspired me to get started. Hmm. And boy, you've got started. <laughs> you've I been, did. You've been, you've been extremely focused, even though you've got a lot of other things going on and, and the main work that you had before you and I started this journey together, you have been implementing consistently and diligently. And the fruit of that is evident. I mean, you I haven't even looked at your latest figures on the platform that you chose to focus on, which is LinkedIn. But I remember within a short space of time, your followers was over 10,000. I don't know if you've got an updated uh, figure on that. What's been going on there? It's around about 12,000. And then I also branched into Instagram and Facebook, which I wasn't really ready for then. But you know, as my journey progressed, I was like, okay, I realized that younger people um, love Instagram. And, you know, once you're there, you might as well be on Facebook. So, yeah, so, you know, that's also been a fantastic journey. But I'll say one more thing about that, Tamron, because, you know, as you know, when we started working together, um, that whole thing of creating an audience, understanding who your audience is, I mean, that's why I chose LinkedIn, because my audience are professionals, they're health professionals, they're leaders in healthcare, and that's where I went to to um, call them in, you know, to say, come on, let's go and create change in the health system. But actually, I, I left corporate five years ago, 
And mm. I, I've done work in the system for all those five years. But other than my research publications, which I kept going and I did, um, my visibility had really, um, you know, I was actually becoming more and more invisible in the health mm. system. And mm. so starting this process has had this collateral value of keeping me in touch with the health system, keeping them informed of what I'm up to. And so mm. not only have I had my um, online kind of work coming through and, you know, I'm learning what's going on there and how to grow that, but I've also had the collateral impact of the industry knowing what I'm up to and people in the industry recognizing me and, you know, making me part of their world again, which I had the risk of losing at that stage because I, I was so focused on bringing value to my clients mm. and pouring my heart into that work and, you know, generally over delivering um, in those fields. But it was creating me, um, it was making me more and more invisible. Yes, they were saying, wow, Dina, we love your what you do. And, you know, I was creating value and had um, a track record around that. But no one knew about my track record. Yes, yes. So that visibility. So the pro I love that you mentioned there's been a process because there is a deliberate process that one needs to follow to gain a following online and launch an online program. But I love that you, you mentioned that almost like a side effect of the goal being to launch an online program is this positioning as an expert again. Yeah. Like you were already an expert, but if nobody knows you're an expert, then yeah. like actually, you know, if a tree falls in the woods and nobody hears it kind of thing. Right. So I just love that, you know, I know you got invited to go speak at a conference uh, and, yeah. and you've been decided unless people are sending me on a plane ticket and paying for everything, I'm not going. And, and as yeah. an impact of all the posts and all the work that you're doing, you're back in that space where you're getting, yeah. you know, invitations that are, that are funded. And that's an amazing yeah. side effect. Yeah, it, so well, good. yesterday, I, yeah. like yesterday, I went to um, a health conference that, you know, again, I'm getting this impact of people seeing me and recognizing me. Like, yes. oh, I know, I, I, you know, I follow you on LinkedIn. I follow, can I talk to you? And that that creates a network that yes. is so valuable, um, and it helps me understand what needs are, what the needs are of my of my audience. So it's been amazing, yeah. Absolutely. That per the the um, unexpected personal brand development that happens when you get up to an online program is beneficial if you continue right. to do other work. Right. But I want to talk about your experience of launching your program. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when was your first one? I forget, like April. at the beginning of the show. Uh, In yeah, April. Was, yeah. Okay, so there is a very specific process that one follows and you've got to have all the pieces in place and it unfolds uh, on a certain timeline. Mm -hmm. and, and as I've talked in the, the free workshops, it's an audience building phase and you stayed in your audience building phase for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. you've, you've, you found your comfort there, built up your audience with the, the different ways that we were attracting people into your email list. And then when you moved into what I call the income phase, which is when you monetize that, you run a free event and you ask people to enroll in your pilot program the very first yeah. time. That was one roller coaster of an experience oh, but it was okay. a very successful experience tell us about that well you know um first of all the audience building phase um really helped me get clarity about mm. myself and my voice absolutely you know, that's like you know when you start writing to your um audience when you start engaging them and they reply and they give you they share or they like something and then you get, you know, you, you start to understand who they are. And also, I can't explain the value of create, being clear yourself, um, mm. what, what that brings, what you, what you stand for and what your story is. It really helps you bring that. And for me, that period, the reason it was a bit longer is because I like, like a lot of other people, you know, you get through this like maybe I'm not ready, maybe I'm not. 
but actually doing that phase starts you to it, it helps me it helped me get ready Absolutely. not only did and it build my audience it created yeah. a new me it actually created yes. my online presence Absolutely, you know, that I and, and didn't, I didn't even know you had. Yeah, yes, I remember exactly. you. I remember you um, noticing that the way you were interacting with colleagues and the, the way you were being in the world with your new online business owner version started to be different. And I, I wow. like that you picked that up because. And it's the reason that I choose the word journey and, you know, my yeah. program that's open for enrollment, it's got the word safari in it because the origin of the word safari in Swahili means to journey. And that you mentioned that personal growth journey as you start to build your own audience is, is so on point. Yeah. And, and it's but not also having a can... coach. Yeah, but also having a coach, you know, it's like when you say safari, I think of the, the kind of safari where you drive around on your own and you look for stuff, okay? And oh, then yeah, one yeah. where you actually have someone who is an expert who's saying, look over there, there's this and there's that. I mean, I recently went on a, a nature safari in Pruitbos in the Western Cape, which has got mm -hmm. these indigenous, amazing fanboys. And the woman on the, the vehicle was telling us stories that I had not... You know, it just enriches your whole experience. So, I mean, I think that even that launch phase was, uh, you know, the, the sort of nurture phase was a, an important part of, of having a coach that is not only um, giving you the tools and skills, but also standing with you as you go through your uncertainty and your questions and your like wondering and, you know, it's a new world. So it's good to have somebody actually showing you what's happening and also kind of cheering you and picking you up when you get zero <laughs> comments or whatever. <laughs> yes, sure. Because sure. like that's meeting. bound to happen. Yeah. Course, nobody yeah. starts, nobody launches their first program or puts out their mm. first post with an existing audience. So yeah. that experience that you have to go through. And I love that game ranger analogy you just made. I mean a self-drive safari where you're like, are yeah. the animals here? It's totally yeah. different than when the range is driving, you know, it's the secret spots. And exactly, you, and, and exactly. And so that is exactly that, so, that yeah. magic. But I mean, power. going into launch then, I mean, first of all, the decision to launch is, you know, I, I don't know, I, may, I, I don't know if it's everybody, but that it's always a tough decision to just go. You know, I could have mm -hmm. postponed it and postponed it and postponed it. And, um, but actually getting the support to just start offer this um free program you know even though i i mean i have been teaching the stuff that i taught online offline in live sessions for 30 years mm. I, there was something about me that didn't want to do it online and yet mm. when i got online as you know i had um, 400 people sign up for my free accelerator um program on change leadership so and it was, I was amazed how many people showed up live and the kinds of, I, I feel like I formed a whole new um, like circle of people that want to create a better health system. I felt like we connected, even though you may not have wanted to immediately come into, you know, my, my paid program. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, you know, those people are still active. They still they're very active with me on, on social media, which they feel like friends and they feel like colleagues and fellow travelers in the world of change leadership, which you don't get when you're all isolated and only working for a few clients, you know, it just, I can't explain to you. It's like all over the world, there are people telling, you know, responding to something that I'm inviting you to look at and to, to share and to, well, that's like it's a, such a beautiful gift to have, and it's a reward beyond the, um, which is of course in line with my vision. It's like I want to create change leaders. If they never do a program with me, it's fine. If I just inspire them mm -hmm. to become change leaders themselves, you know that is already a gift to me. Mm -hmm. The fact is, I still believe I can help people implement their change leadership programs 
quicker, more effectively, and in a way that serves them, their organizations, and the people they're aiming their change at. So I'm still thrilled that I'm doing that work. And I, I found elements that has never been named. When I had to convey that, I, it's stuff I never did in the live programs. I'm actually building into this program now. Um, because I've seen, it's like later in my career, I can look back and name it more accurately. Mm -hmm. yes. It's amazing. So the process of having, you know, a moment ago before we went live, you, you talked about the value of just going through the motions to create the foundation. So obviously one of the side effects of a launch is that you have to build the assets to yep. attract your audience, the thing that they are yes. getting in exchange for the email address. Then you have to build out the assets for your free events. And yes. that can feel like a lot the first time, but it's the same assets you use the next time you launch and the next time you launch and the next time yes. you launch then you run the actual program and you build out that program week by week that's a mistake a lot of people make they think they make the program yes. first and then they try and sell it so you built that out week by week with a group of people and I love how you just mentioned that there are things that you discovered in that process that yes. you hadn't even yes. named before yeah. And it's why you have to actually just run yeah. through the full thing before you can even decide if it's going to work, how it's going to work, what it's going to be, what its names are, yeah. what's going to be inside. You just yeah. can't tell until you're there at yeah. the call face reacting to who's in your program. Yeah. And, and, and you I mentioned can't something. overemphasize the, the yeah. issue of um, that story about first I'm going to build my program, then I'm going to do it. Like, yes. no please don't do that <laughs> you know it is yes. of course you've got a framework of course you know what your your core teachings are what what it is you're bringing but mm -hmm. um but the, the there's nothing that replaces the the actual um doing the program and you know when I launched I, despite the fact that I am considered an expert in the industry, et cetera, I still didn't feel like I knew everything about what I was going to put together in this specific way. And I launched as a beta program, I, you know, as a, at a really good price because I was using that platform as a co-creative space. Mm -hmm. And I ended up having the most incredible group of people coming into my program and, you know, through that interaction, through what they said, through what I offered and how they responded, their program emerged as a co-created process. And I now have that collateral and I have that experience to be able to talk about, to be able to offer to others and to be able to keep improving as I take it through its next phase and its next phase. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And the set and the, the next launch is never as intense as the first one because you are basically tweaking that whole set of assets that have already been created. I mean, even in the sessions that yeah. we've had in your gearing up for round two, it's like, oh, we'll change this, we'll change that, which is nowhere near the same amount of thinking and yeah, work. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, you pull up the slides and you look at them and you go, no, I think I need to do this. I think I can, you know, that's kind of how you can operate. Yeah, I mean, yes. as you know, Tamron, I'm busy launching in the middle of uh, moving. Mm. So, so, you know, if I didn't have those assets, I wouldn't be able to do a second launch now. Yes, now, absolutely. you know, I would have said, no, I must wait till January. Um, exactly. But, but exactly. once, you, once you're in this mode, um, you, you know, I still see my next launch as, a, as an inquiry, as an, you know, I'm a researcher as well. I'm a healthcare researcher. And I, I, oh. I research implementation in healthcare, but I'm also now researching developing and forming an online business in the healthcare space. What does that actually mean? And how do we, how do we really do this? Um, in a way that you can, uh, you know, afford the time and in a way that is efficient for you and also generates the revenue you need to keep going and to make the impact you want to make. Yes, yes. A moment ago, you talked about why you believe 
South Africans have a real opportunity in the online course based space. And yeah, because and I mean, I it's think, still, yeah, yes, it's still so under, um, it's occupied, under occupied. It's not like you're going out into the world and there's into South African audiences and there's thousands of people competing with you. I mean, what, what I believe we're doing is helping South African professionals and people learn to use the online space to shift their paradigms and to get the opportunities and to build businesses. And, you know, if you think about the unemployment in our country, wow, yeah. it's like yeah. what an amazing opportunity to bring bring ideas, bring opportunities to people out in the South African context and to be teaching them how to do that. Absolutely. Like, wow. uh, that's exactly how I feel. I mean, one of my big whys is like, if I know, if I've seen this work, the amount of times I've seen it work, I've watched, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, somebody else talked about South Africans having this crystal ball advantage and then you can look at what's been happening in, in mm -hmm. America and in Europe and you can know that in a few years' time, it's going to work here. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. kind of just how yeah, yeah, yeah. our country has been in terms of trends. So if I've been watching big name American online business owners and Australia and, and, and Europe and just waiting you know there's there's literally I can count on two hands the number yeah, of yeah, yeah. huge South African online business owners so there is an incredible opportunity yeah. Yeah. for anyone you don't have to be a fancy expert you don't have to be as accomplished yeah. as you are in your yeah. offline career to be able to make an impact and an income and I just think yeah, that's amazing. amazing. That's why yeah. I'm just trying to support South Africans specifically. But let's yeah. talk about um, income. There's options, right? There's totally DIY, mm -hmm. um, which is what I'm supporting people to do in the Freedom Safari is take off my templates and tools and self-implement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is an alternate uh, option, which is the option you chose, which is right from the beginning, employ a team of people who are going to do a lot of the execution for you tell, tell me why that was your your choice this thing i want to say about diy you are not diy really because you know my old version of diy was look up and see if you can use google to find all these things or or you know i think i think a packaged um if i was going to do it myself I, 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 there's only one way to do it and then is sign up for this stuff and make sure and follow the templates that you give me because i mean mm -hmm. i've seen those templates and and to a large extent we're also using those templates you know they, that's mm -hmm. exactly the model that we are using um but what i was clear about is i want to spend my time on the things that i'm really good at which mm -hmm. is the content which is the the message that i'm bringing and i'm not that I mean, I'm, I can book my tech together, but I don't want to be spending my time doing that. And it's part of my own vision to, you know, do the work I love with people I love working with. And so I put my team behind me to support me to do mm. my work. So, I, I mean, I've written lots of academic articles, but I've never had to write for social media. So, I, I mean, I hired a social media expert uh, a writer, a writer who, so I still write my own posts, but she helped me learn how to write them for um, for the platforms of social media and how to make them much more um, accessible to a wider audience. And that was amazing. That's amazing. And again, making that investment has not just been an outsourcing. It's also been a growth process for me. I can yes. write much better posts you know on my own with no input than I could write 12 months ago and so mostly now I'm, I'm using her resources for very specific things and I can carry on but if I hadn't hired someone from the beginning I you know I think I would have been okay but I don't think I would have kind of got that that level of work that I'm proud of so that was the first um and then recognizing that on the tech perspective, there is stuff you need to do and you have to keep on top of and post and do. And actually for me to walk away on my launch 
and just send an email saying he has the, you know, what we need and he has the description of the session to put in my profile. You know, I think I, yeah, I wanted my my program to have a, a very professional look. And that's why I needed to do that. You know, it kind of had to reflect the level of expertise and the level of work that I bring. And if I was going to try and do that at the same time, it would just split me in a thousand places. And I don't think I could have delivered my program at the level I did without that help. So, yeah, I think it was amazing. Of course, then yes. having you behind me, you know, mm -hmm. helping me identify all the different factors, helping me understand what the heck a launch actually is, um, what the languaging has to be, um, you know, and your famous um, one take revolution. In my launch, in the middle of my launch, I actually got that right. You did. <laughs> you know, to do you a did. full video with no um, script. I mean, if you look at my early videos, you can see me go, I am, hi, I'm Dina, Dr. Dina van der Berg, you know, but yeah. oh, in the launch, I got my flow and I could just talk. It was amazing. Yes, it was amazing. You really did hit your stride yeah. and it was so beautiful to see. Well, I hope and I, I hit there again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to start on your stride for your next round. You can, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, exactly. you never go back. Like you're on mm -hmm. a certain rung mm -hmm. in the ladder. You can't slide yeah. down. It's not snakes and ladders, yeah, thankfully. Yeah. Um, but I love that you mentioned that again because it's another reason why you just have to go through the process. You can't yeah. even know how to speak to your audience unless you actually show up and try to speak and you might be yeah. a bit clunky on the first day you might be clunky on the second day but in your case I think like it was the third or fourth day of a 10 day yeah. launch period where you just yes. something happened yeah. something clicked the gates yeah. just opened and you could you just the message just flowed yeah. and your you know the examples were, were just coming up in my head I could tell stories this is amazing yes. and I like those stories arose in the session I could never have sat down and scripted them no no and that is such a I'm, I love that we're talking about this because I have seen so I've supported a lot of people through launching and there is definitely like a keystone moment where you've either got to walk through and let everything fall in place and feel uncomfortable till the point that it clicks in or you choose not to and you stop and you give mm -hmm. up. I've experienced mm -hmm. somebody literally abandoning their launch, like at that point wow. that you chose to, to walk through because it it's, it's an intense experience mm -hmm. and yeah. it's not something you sign up for unless you're ready to move into a new level of, of how many people you're reaching, how, how your business operates, mm -hmm. how you have to operate as a person and, the potential yeah. revenue that can result from that yeah. so it's not something that you can just lie back and it passively happens to you you've got to choose something better and more for yourself and that comes mm. with huge yeah. growth no, it does yeah. yeah so in that from that perspective watching you rise to that occasion and rise above it and have a very successful launch i mean for yeah. a first time launch Despite the yeah. fact that you chose to have a team, which obviously has a monthly overhead, you had, a, you know, a, a whole bunch of people sign up for a fairly high ticket program. Yeah, I did. And, you know, I think, um, I, I think if I look at the testimonials now and I look at what they, they, like, the fact is, if you do your program well, they will get value. You know, so to, like Tamron, for me, when when I asked, when I decided to take you on as wing woman, but I didn't, I had no idea how much that investment would support me at the level of actually launching this product, developing it, getting it going, and having um, the kind of personal development and growth that I've experienced through that process and. You know, you know, I'm a big fan of coaches in general. I believe that anyone who wants to have a successful career should, at some stage of their lives, use a coach. And I th as you're going into the online world, don't try and do it on your own. I mean, you, I'm sure you can, but if you can, 
and get a coach, get a tracker <laughs> in the front of your <laughs> safari vehicle. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, that is so valuable to have. Um, it's 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 hard to actually explain how much value it actually brings. Um, it's not the oh, I sold my program for five thousand rand and I paid someone, you know, x thousand rand for what they. It's they actually. It's not a just a money issue. It's it's an investment in your future, which is the same as education. You know, we'll go out and we'll spend, you know, 40,000 Rand on a business management course on um, how to launch social media businesses at an institute. But instead, you know, you, you we hesitate to spend 30,000 Rand over time on real coaching with people who really know how to do this and have done it themselves. That's like, yeah. an, in, you know, you it's a difference between learning from books okay or online now you know and learning yes. from someone who's actually been there and done it themselves absolutely and I think that's a beautiful uh, point that you talk about people investing a lot of money and taking even loans and all kinds of crazy things to get some sort of mm. academic qualification or a diploma oftentimes not always taught by somebody who's only encountered it in theory yeah I mean I but also I think I they a, put it on their CV and it seems like okay well now I've got this diploma but you've never actually also done it yes and so exactly. for me that's the the difference you know you can go and do like in my work you can go and do change management or project management but in my program you get to do change yes. with my expert mentoring with that process and that's the same thing like you get to actually launch a product and a business yeah and do it with someone who's done this whatever how many times have you done it again oh, 25 well, did, did you say yes, 25 yes. launches in like oh, oh my gosh like who's done this 25 times in, you in know, the last and, 44 months yes I mean it's just amazing yeah yeah, yeah. that is quite a, a nutty statistic um I think I worked out it's an average of every being in either my own my clients or my partner's launches on an average of every 8.8 .8 weeks for the past 44 months so yeah, I've literally week. seen it all I have seen gigantic launches you know mm. I, there's been times where I've been sharing with you mm. what somebody's launch is unfolding like and I've seen a lot of absolute first-time beginner launches like I said I yeah, seen like niche and yeah something so specific and how somebody reacts when they go through that journey and mm -hmm. um, all the while, it's always the exact same process and formula that unfolds. So yeah. I'd love to hear from you now that you know the process and you know the formula and you're going into a, another version. What do you have to say to someone who's thinking about starting and who's thinking about starting in the Freedom Safari and, and learning that process for themselves? What do I have to say to them? You know, I could just jump in. You know, stop thinking about it. Stop thinking that you'll do it another time. You'll do it later, that you're not ready, that you can't afford the investment. Those are all just holding you back from actually having an experience. Like if you have watched one single video, there is a little spark in you that wants to do this. And you're just like squishing it, you know. If you like along this little road have been curious and that there's something calling you and you need to hear the call because I mean you know I've done online programs myself for years and I there was always something in me that just thought wow this is the most incredible way to to bring something into the world that can make a difference and like the fact that I took so long to get into the space I mean as I said, I stopped working in corporate five years ago, and it's only a year ago that I did this. I spent four years, you know, going, trying to get more business and bringing, and I always knew that I wanted to do this work, but I didn't have a how. I didn't have a how. I kept, um, I, I did other little courses, but I didn't, the difference was actually hiring someone to take me on this journey. And so I would say just, you know, listen to that voice because that voice is 
like a voice of the future you could be. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Well, I can't wait to see how your impact compounds and magnifies and what your yeah. program grows into. And it's such a pleasure to have been walking with you on your yeah. journey. And thank you for sharing all of that wonderful insight of the experience yeah. with the people who are just a, a little bit behind you. That exact yeah, yeah, yeah. version of you. Like, thinking, Come on, join this train. It's going somewhere. <laughs> Special yes. and exotic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Could I? Should I? But the last thing I wanted to say, like the Tamron, is you know, I was so afraid and so serious and so like, mm -hmm. I had to control everything. But I think the other thing that you offered me was the lightness and the joy and the fun that it, you know, and I take myself seriously and I want to like do everything perfectly. Just having someone who's going, hello, um, and the, you know, the encouragement and that it's, it's actually shifted and I'm actually having so much more fun, even mm -hmm. when I'm, I'm afraid, even when I'm still, oh gosh, what if this next launch is going to be a complete failure? Even when those voices are coming up for me, I'm still having fun and it makes a difference having you there because you just have such a wonderful way of making things possible. It's really amazing. Thank you. Such a pleasure, pleasure and a privilege. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for spending time with us this morning. I'm gonna uh, set you free to go back and continue with your mood. With my mood. I mean, <laughs> that's evidence. If you could be launching <laughs> and moving at the same time, it means your assets are, are, are yeah. developed. Super. Have a wonderful Thanks day. So Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye, bye, everyone. Yeah.